Hi guys, I am Karika and welcome to my channel and thank you so much for tuning into my video and if you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a keto grocery haul. It's 8.49 p.m. I just got off of work. I'm trying to do this as quick as possible because it's late and I don't feel like being out. So I'm going to Walmart. I'm only going to Walmart because like I said, I don't want to be out all night. I'm going to go get everything here and show you guys what I got once I get home. It's actually really cold and I'm here with the shortest shorts on, but check out my shoes. Aren't my Forever 21 shoes super cute, but it's cold. So they have this lavish bread here. Um, someone I follow on Instagram who does keto, they eat this and it's only six net carbs. I didn't know that they had this in store. I thought you had to go somewhere special to order this. I'm not picking this up, but it's nice to know that they have this here. I'm back at the Walmart clearance section once again. I found this apple cider vinegar strawberry pineapple drink enhancer that looks pretty cool and apple cider vinegar is really good for you. And this also has zero carbs, but I think $4 for this is too much. And they have this baking cocoa for $1.38, but it's already been opened. That's why it's on clearance. And they have Zevia, a pack of Zevia for $3.74. I'm not a Zevia drinker, but I know people on keto like Zevia. I wish I can just buy things like this. If you're on keto, you know how expensive it is to buy like protein bars and bars. $3 for this whole entire box is so good. And they have rolled fashion oats for $4.19. Obviously, I don't eat oatmeal anymore, but I used to love me some oatmeal. So I'm in their seafood area to see if I found anything at a good price. And they did have these packets of shrimp on sale. One is $4.86 and the other one is $4.79. And that's such a great deal. I'm going to grab these two. So I found all of these skinny girl dressings and the ingredients are not that bad. Only thing that's somewhat questionable is the natural flavor because you don't really know what natural flavor is, but I don't really care about that. But it has sucralose and sucralose is at the very, very end. So it has a very small amount. So this honestly isn't bad for anyone who is interested in raspberry vinaigrette. I came to their mayonnaise section just to see what they have. And this is the one I currently use, the avocado oil mayonnaise. I wanted to see if they had other avocado mayonnaise, but not this one because it costs too much. It's actually cheaper here than other stores. They have this craft avocado oil mayonnaise, but it has soybean oil in it. And they also have this one, but this has soybean oil and canola oil in it. And we don't eat that because it's inflammatory. So no. Look at how yummy this is. Buffalo cauliflower burgers. If it wasn't so high in carbs, it's 16 carbs and one fiber. That's way too high for me. But I honestly think if I wasn't on keto, I would try to be vegan because I love plant-based meals have all of their mushroom on clearance right now from 119 I'm definitely gonna pick one up guys so I found this little clearance section at Walmart where they have sliced cheese on clearance a dollar 41 is good because I personally think this cheese that sliced is better than the packaged shredded cheese so I'm back home and the first thing I got is this twin pack of I believe it's 18 eggs um, I'm not going to be cooking tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. It's usually the day I cook, but with the fall semester starting, my schedule is different. So I'm not going to cook tomorrow. So I'll be eating eggs for the next two days. So I wanted to make sure I had enough on hand. And then I got this packet of shrimp. It was $4.79. I know it's hard to see. It was originally $6.65. So $4.79 for some shrimp is a pretty good price. And let's see, under a pound, and it's saying it's best to use or freeze by January 6th. I'm actually going to freeze this because I'm not gonna cook it today. I'm gonna cook it in two days. Then I did get this huge filet of salmon, and that's the reason why I only got one packet of shrimp versus the two that were on sale because I don't really need the two if I have this huge packet of salmon. Also, this was $16.70, and it's two pounds and 13 ounces, and $16 for this huge filet of salmon is a very good price so i definitely had to get this and then i got two bags of frozen cauliflower not only is my meal prep going to be easy this week but i want it to be affordable because i was a little reckless with my spending i wanted my meal to be really really on the cheap side so i got two bags of cauliflower which were a dollar and then i got two bags of frozen broccoli which were also a dollar i got these different bags of like sliced cheese if you guys know i've been trying to be on the cleaner side of keto so i wanted cheese that didn't have potato starch in it and these were all on clearance for like a dollar 49 so i got like five bags of these and i already tasted some this is mozzarella and i think this is my favorite so far this is some provolone this is swiss 
French imported Swiss. And then I got this pack of Chunk Light Tuna. Like I said, I'm gonna be having eggs for the next few days. So I'm going to throw this inside of my omelets. And this is honestly the best canned tuna that I've brought in ever in my whole entire life. This is a great value kind, it's really good. I got some Cabot cheese. I also need this for my meal prep. One bag of Brussels sprouts. I did get some cilantro because cilantro tastes good with everything. And this is going to be like the secret flavor to my meal prep this week. I got a bag of lemons because I really want to get back into drinking lemon water. I used to drink it like every single day of my life, but I've been really into flavored water. But since I cheated on keto, yes, guys, I did cheat on my diet and I will talk about that later. Um, I just wanted to get some lemon to detox my body and, you know, lemon water is always good. And I got this Philadelphia smoked salmon cream cheese. Like I said, this is my favorite. It's so yummy. Then I got some unsweetened coconut milk. I've been really liking how this tastes in my protein shake versus the macadamia milk that I used to use. And this is like a dollar and change less, so that makes me happy. But this tastes amazing. And I also got two containers of organic vegetable broth. It wasn't expensive. It was a dollar something. Even though it says organic, it wasn't pricey. This is for my meal prep. Can you guys guess what I'm making for the week? And then I got some Kerrygold butter because I'm almost out of butter. People on keto really rave about this because it's from grass-fed cows, but it actually does taste really good. And I got some sour cream. I'm going back to basic keto for the next few weeks, so I'm going to be eating all the fat that I can. I also got a packet of the frozen salmon. I'm going to use this for my breakfast meal prep, and you guys will see that video hopefully by this weekend. And the last thing I picked up was this baby arugula and baby spinach. I was actually looking for just spinach, but someone was raving about how amazing arugula is. So I picked some of this up for I can throw it in my omelets this week. I didn't buy these, but my mom picked me up two avocados. And I honestly don't think they're going to last. It's super, super soft. But I wanted to show you guys what my mom got me. Thank you, mom. But yeah, guys, this is everything that I got for the week. And I will talk about my little cheating adventures in a few. So it's about 11.50 p.m. It's about to be midnight. I put all my groceries away, took a shower, and I made myself a drink. Um, this is like my keto hot chocolate because it's kind of cold outside. It's cold for Florida. It's not even real hot chocolate. It's not even made out of cocoa powder. It's my regular protein shake that I use with the perfect keto collagen, and I just put it over the stove. During the grocery haul, I did mention that I cheated, and I did um, on New Year's Day. I no New Year's Eve I didn't even it wasn't planned I just woke up and I felt like I wanted to eat whatever I wanted to so I did and I kind of feel like a lot of people who who are going through weight loss journeys or health journeys we kind of tend to be hard on ourselves and at this point I don't even consider it cheating because I've transitioned my life so much to a healthier lifestyle so I did what I wanted to do and I felt great the only thing I regret is the money I spent because I have like financial guilt whenever I spend money on something that I don't need to I kind of feel bad about it so besides that I had a great time I went to Domino's and I had some pizza and I had a large fry from McDonald's things that I honestly haven't had in years even before keto I lost a significant amount of weight on my own so I kind of feel like I need to give myself more credit for my accomplishment than I do you've been doing well for such a long time you literally transitioned your whole entire life and I did those things on my own so one cheat day one cheat meal going off track for a day isn't going to hurt you so i guess that's what i wanted to express to people who are trying to lose weight or who are trying to stick to keto you mess up it's okay as long as you get back on your regular plan you're going to be fine but that is all i had to say and that was my grocery haul for the week i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like it subscribe and share it to anyone who's interested in the ketogenic lifestyle thank you guys so much for watching i'm almost at 100 subscribers i'm like 15 or 16 away from 100 subscribers which is a really big deal to me thank you guys so much again for watching my channel i am karika and i'll see you guys in the next video this is what my drink looks like guys it's really good it literally tastes amazing it is the perfect keto chocolate collagen i use unsweetened coconut milk heavy whipping cream mct oil and i added some of the peanut butter cup jordan skinny syrup and i'm really excited because the weather is changing so now i have like my own keto friendly hot chocolate to drink